<laughs> Welcome, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining me today uh, to my smoothie hour. Uh, today, I'm uh, informing you that uh, so I, I want to first thank you all the people who supported me and watched my live and uh, also watched a few videos about one minute out of three uh, on my Facebook page, uh, Leila Banas MBA DBA candidate. Uh, and uh, thank you for all of you who are following me from day one. Uh, I want to let you know that I'm almost there for the 30,000 minutes I needed, and thank you for that. Uh, I wouldn't be able to do it by myself. Thank you so much. And uh, for this happy smoothie hour today, I had, of course, the protein chocolate shake. That's why it's uh, so dark, like the chocolate. And uh, beyond the chocolate, the protein shake, I have also uh, added some uh, berries. I have blackberries. Uh, I have blueberries in the shake, and I had bananas. Uh, I had, like I said, one scoop of protein shake, and uh, I added melon too, to give it a little bit of watery uh, taste. So the blackberries and the blueberries are antioxidant, which is great for me. And the chocolate and protein shake is giving me enough protein for the whole day. So cheers to that, and I'm gonna tell you how I feel, how it tastes like. Mm. Tastes very good. I mm, I like the, um, I don't know if it's the melon or the bananas, kind of give it this sugary taste. I really enjoy. And uh, also I wanted to talk about, for the second part, since I already gave you what's in the smoothie, uh, one uh, wake up. It's blackberries, blueberries, uh, bananas, chocolate protein, and melon. And you mix the whole thing for two or three minutes and you get it. And if your smoothie maker or your machine is not that, fast, maybe you have to add one or two more minutes. Thank you so much and uh, cheers to you, to the happy smoothie. Uh, I wanted also to uh, talk today about the fact that we are all in the situation of COVID-19 that's not easy. There are ups and downs. Uh, sometimes we feel like it's gonna, gonna be okay. Many people lost their job. I'm sorry about what happened today in Chicago with all the killings. Uh, last time I checked, it was 14 people, I think. Uh, we don't know who is all the injured, where we are going. I feel really sorry for you. And if you are in Chicago, please stay, stay safe. Uh, I saw many of my friends uh, checking in, saying that, that they are feeling okay. I'm glad for that. Uh, I'm sorry about the loss. It's something that shouldn't happen. It's really bad. But maybe with everything going on with the COVID-19, the health issue, the mental health issues, uh, things are really hard right now. And it's tough. And it's tough on everybody. Uh, that's why I wanted to talk about the fact that uh, some uh, programs allows you, if you have anger issues, uh, if you have some kind of conditions, the fact that you change your diet, eat healthier could help you thrive through this period. It's not just about having a counselor, having a therapist. You also have to check what you're eating because what you're eating is also able to help you cope with what's going on. Uh, let's talk about the fact that you have... Um, anger issues or you have blood pressure issues, sometimes it's due to what you are eating. And if you check uh, carefully what you are eating, maybe there is something that you shouldn't be eating that's making you feel uncomfortable. And I know if your stomach is not feeling okay, you can't feel okay. You can't pretend to be happy. It's really hard on you and you feel it every second. And anything could just trigger you and be something that you can't cope with, even if it's something that's nothing, it's just the fact that you are not feeling okay. That's why I think changing your diet, making sure you have enough fiber, uh, either if you get those protein shakes already ready for you, or either you get something that's changing uh, your lifestyle in your food would help uh, tremendously. And also make your people, your surroundings, feel more comfortable around you and cope with you easier. And also, you'll be able to get out of your pills if you are under a treatment because of your condition. That's also a plus. I'm not saying that you have to. I'm just saying that it's something that you should consider and think about it and make a move. Nobody else could do the move because even if you buy it, uh, let's say you buy all the products you need and you never use it. Nobody could make you use those products. So you have to be decided. You have to make up and uh, make your mind and decide to go for it and do it. I have uh, recently uh, witnessed some situation where the trigger was nothing. 
It's just something you could cope like on a normal day. If it was not COVID-19, if it was not the quarantine, if it was not everything going on. I know 2020 has been crazy. So many things are going on and you can't, um, you can't change anything. You have to cope with and deal with it. And having a better diet could help you cope with it. Have a better night's sleep feel better. That's why I think the protein shake is helping me a lot. I think you kind of saw it from day one, since I started all these shows and sharing all my pictures. I think it's something that could help you thrive through everything going on right now. We don't know what's going to happen next. We don't know about the second wave. We don't know about the next shooting. We don't know about so many things. You can't stay home and be worried, wondering what's going to happen. If your kids are out, what's going to happen to them? Uh, if your family is out, your parents, your sister, all your relatives, even your friends, what may happen tomorrow? The only thing you have control over is your health. You decide what you put inside of your body. You decide what you eat. You decide if you want to go to a McDonald's. You decide if you want to go buy your whole food. You make your decision and you live with it. Because if you eat badly, you feel it. If you eat okay, you feel all right and you're good to go. And sometimes you'll be striving, wondering if you are doing the right thing or what's going on against you. The cycle is your decision making. I decided to go for the smoothie. I'm making this sacrifice every day. I'm going for the smoothie. I'm having my protein shake. I'm making sure I'm having all the stuff I need. I mean, all my body needs. Make sure I'm doing uh, exercises. I'm jumping. I wanted to jump the highest I could do, and I'm giving myself the chance to go for it. Uh, whatever is your dream, whatever you want to do, go for it. Don't let yourself down because nobody else would be able to do it better than you do. If you decide to lose those pounds, do it. If you decide to lose, um, have a better diet, have a better life. Uh, feel happy, feel happy inside, feel that your inside is all right, it's your call. In my case here, I just wanted to uh, talk about that point and make sure you get the idea of uh, doing something for yourself, being um, grateful to your body that was able to carry you till now. Give it back to that body, give the right treat to it. Go for your smoothie on a daily basis, uh, eventually, if you don't have time, go for a peel, go for an extra vitamin or omega-3, go for whatever you need. See the physician, but make that move to help yourself. Nobody else could do it. Thank you for watching and happy smoothie. <laughs> mm.